to the, to the flag, flag of the United, United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll. Alderman Tobin. Alderman Jean-Francois. Here. Alderman Johnson. Here. Alderman Ray. Here. Alderman Kleiner. Here. Alderman Green. Here. Alderman Witt. Here. Alderman Massey. Here. President Rodriguez. Here. Quorum is present. Approval of minutes. So moved. Second. Massey. Alderman Johnson. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Correspondence. Nothing this evening. For the good of the city, anyone would like to address the council, please step forward. Good evening, everyone. My name is Chris Bernard. I'm a resident of 26 Horton Avenue. I'm a little nervous. This is first, my first time doing okay. this. Okay, so. take your time. No problem. You're amongst <laughs> okay. friends. Um, I'm a resident of 26 Horton Avenue. I stand before you today to address a pressing issue that, address, that affects not only myself, but also the safety and well-being of all residents in our community. The issue at hand is an alarming prevalence of reckless and excessive speeding on and around Horton Avenue. I have evidence in the form of video footage captured on, by my house security cameras showing the gravity of the situation on my phone. I am willing to share this footage with you now or after this meeting so you can witness firsthand the severity of the problem. I've already started, I've already shared this video and other videos with the shift lieutenant next door. I implore, implore upon this council to conduct a comprehensive traffic survey, not limited to Horton Avenue, but encompassing all adjacent streets to ascertain the extent of the speeding epidemic plaguing our city. It is imperative that we explore viable solutions to mitigate the risks posed by reckless and excessive speeders, lest we suffer, suffer unnecessary consequences of property damage or even worse, loss of life. Also, keep in mind the proximity of Horton Avenue to our local schools. The, child, the, the safety of the children are at stake as well. While I understand that speed humps have been proposed as a potential solution, I've been informed that the, the city's reluctance to implement them. However, I firmly believe that this measure holds promise to addressing the issue at its core. To this end, I am prepared to take proactive steps initiating a petition commencing with my own street to advocate for the installation of speed humps. In fact, I have already taken the initiative to draft, letter, draft letters addressing homeowners on Horton Avenue, outlining the urgency of this matter and soliciting their support in the form of a petition. 35 such letters are ready for distribution, signaling the grassroots momentum behind this cause. I urge the council, please, recognize the imperative of, this nature, of the, the nature of this plea and collaborate with residents in finding a viable solution to curb speeding on our local roadway, roadways. Uh, by working together, we can assure the safety and tranquility of our community. Thank you so much for your attention and your consideration. Thank you. <clears throat> Anyone else would like to address the council? Okay, remarks of mayor. I'm, I'm not going to grandstand on the issue, but <laughs> 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 I'm in agreement with you. We've had this discussion before, and um, I think we need to really give it a look. I know the chief can address the speed trailer. Um, we do do the analysis now, as you know. We get the speeding numbers and the percentages, but um, it is a somewhat mini crisis for neighborhoods, and I th there are the solutions. I was in New York City on Sunday, going down 44th Street, 46th Street, and guess what's in 44th Street and 46th Street? In Manhattan, 
where fire trucks go by, police, police have cars, to go by fast. Ambulance. Speed humps. They work? Sure they worked. <laughs> and uh, ride down yourself. A uh, big place like that can do it. There's no reason why we can't do it. But um, I'll move on. I'll address some of these things. In our, in my state of the city will be on March 5th and at 7 p.m. So I ask for a special meeting to start at 7, 7 p.m. on March 5th. Any questions? Any questions from the mayor? All right. Thank you. All right. Department heads, economic development. Good evening, everyone. Uh, this evening, we had a community development agency meeting, um, and the board, you, the board, approved uh, us to move on with the rehab of 84 Linden Avenue, which will be begin soon and be part of the program, and, and we'll get a whole buyer there soon. Also, um, Wednesday, February 28th at 4 p.m., our consolidated annual performance report, uh, we have a public hearing. That's our HUD caper. So there's a public hearing on February 28th uh, at 4 o'clock. Um, the Paramount Theater, Bob Marley, One Love, continues until February 29th. It's been a hit. Um, it, it, check our website for times and show dates. Uh, also, a new show announcement. Uh, uh, it's going to be going on sale soon. Uh, let's sing Taylor, the ultimate Taylor Swift tribute. So, <laughs> so uh, th that's coming soon. So, um, again, check our MiddletownParamount.com for all the show listings and uh, everything going on. Thank you. Any questions for Maria? Any questions. Stay around. All right. Thank, Thank you, you, Maria. DPW Commissioner. Good evening, all. Uh, we'll start off with our reservoirs. They are at 100% capacity. Um, Highland Avenue tank, the work has been completed for the tank itself. There are some other items that needs to be done. However, the good news is the tank is back in service. We put that on service on Saturday after doing a joint inspection with the health department and after all the required samples were taken and have passed. There's still a lot of work to be done at the tank site, such as cathodic protection, uh, full protection for the, with the ladder, some other items, cleaning up and so on. So that will be done um, along the next couple of weeks and that will be the end of it. So now Highland Avenue has been back online, so we have adequate storage within our system. We're going to start taking the um, High Barney tank offline between tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. They started uh, switching over the uh, telemetry uh, at that tank site. That tank site is very important for us, High Barney, because it's like our junction where all the wireless signal comes from Highland Avenue tank, from County Route 78 volt, from Mountain Avenue tank. Um, all these tanks, they report to High Barney, and then from High Barney, we shoot across to the water treatment plant. So it's a very uh, important hub for us. So tomorrow we're going to be the transfer, doing the transfer, taking the antennas off the tank, mounting them on a new pole in there, so we can have good signal in there and communication between our, among our tanks uh, within the system, within the water distribution system. Um, Last Tuesday, we had a major um, snowstorm. We haven't had that much snow for, for a while. It was like 11 and a quarter inches in uh, less than 24 hours. And, uh, and the guys did a tremendous job. Our, our uh, guys in the street department, in the water department, some from the sanitation department, they all pitched in. And they drove our plows and our uh, small mason uh, dump trucks and, and uh, sanders. So we're very grateful. They, they've done really a good job under the direction of Ross uh, Mastria. He's the deputy commissioner. Uh, tomorrow, we, we will be uh, getting um, a blacktop. You can see we drive around in the city. Everybody's complaining all around about potholes, potholes. Uh, if you notice, we have less potholes this year, if any, to be honest with you, because that's because of the hard work of our street department. They stay on top of it. 
I reported to you before that we go down to New Jersey to bring in hot asphalt rather than using coal patch. And hot asphalt does last for a long time versus coal, using the coal patch. Uh, I was in a discussion with the state, some, some people from the DOT said, oh my God, we never thought of that. We're going to start doing that. So, because it's, it's a lasting solution. It's not just temporary fix for the pothole. So tomorrow we're going to be going down to New Jersey again. The street department is. And, um, you know, I think they're doing a great job for us. Um, spring cleanup. Before you tonight, there is a resolution uh, for the spring cleanup. Should you approve it? and the mayor signs it, then it's going to be, I can read it. You know what? I'm not going to read it until you approve it. I'm not going to be presumptuous. Um, part of it also is um, electronic drop-off date. Um, one more item. We have a resolution before you for bond reduction for uh, Magnolia Park. That's for the roads that have been accepted by us, have been dedicated. They're not uh, totally taken over by this by uh, DPW to maintain them yet because of some couple of minor items, but uh, the bond reduction is before you tonight for uh, approval, and we appreciate that. Any questions? Any questions for Jacob Alderman Massey? Uh, Commissioner, I'm sorry if I missed it, but how are the reservoirs? Alderman Massey, I, do. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I reported in the reservoirs. I didn't mention you, but uh, yeah, rest assured they're in good shape. Thank you. Yes, sir. Alderman Kleiner? Yes, uh, Commissioner, uh, I got a notice that um, Wisner Avenue is going to be closed for a while tomorrow. Can you? Yeah, tomorrow it's, it's um, we sent, I believe we sent the message out already. Yes. Yeah, yeah it's because anyone plumber, who did, yeah, a plumber is going to be installing uh, water service before they were going to go from the curb over to the house. And uh, that's the corner house on Wisner and Highland. Unfortunately, it's galvanized water service, and it's, it's really in very bad shape under the road. Okay. So they're going to open up the road tomorrow between 8 o'clock and 12 o'clock. Thank you for mentioning that, but people can see it now, too. Um, but we did send a message, yes, and that's why. Right. We're going to minimize the downtime, and we're going to have the tour sign and everything. The plumber is doing it. It's not city work. Right. It's a private work, yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, sure. Anyone else? All right, thank you, Jacob. Thank you. City Treasurer. Good evening. I have nothing for you this evening. Any questions for the Treasurer? All right. Thank you. Police Chief. Good evening. Um, on the request of Alderman Kleiner, I actually brought our new animal control officer with me this evening so I could introduce him to the council. Um, this is Marcus Small. Marcus has been with the city for four or five years now. Um, started with us with, as a dispatcher, as a full-time dispatcher, worked many years there. Um, an amazing employee, and this past fall, he transitioned to animal control officer. Um, so this is Marcus. He's, he's a worker um, by all means. He, he goes out there and he works. He's personable. Um, he has flexible hours. We don't keep him a steady, you know, business hours. He does flex his hours to address the needs of the community. Um, so this is the council, and this is uh, our new animal control Welcome. officer, uh, Marcus. Welcome. Um, same telephone number as in the past. Um, email is his first initial last name at middletownpolice.com, and uh, he's here to help all of us. Sweet. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Any questions for Marcus? Oh, Alma Johnson. Not a question of comment. It's nice to finally make the, yes. the name in the face. Absolutely. So, um, you know, I do rounds at Middletown Humane Society a couple of times a week. The director is Maureen Hogan. And as recently as seven hours ago, we were both singing your praises. Um, you're very attentive. We're paying a lot of attention to our needs at the shelter. Uh, I think it's, it's a big improvement for the animals in the city. And I want to thank you on behalf of the shelter for the good work you're doing. Thanks. All the cleaner. Um, because I get asked this a lot, um, you don't deal with uh, feral cats or stray cats. Is that correct? So, so the city, so the city does. Um, we don't have contracts right now. We are working on that. Um, but if there are any feral cat issues, um, you could definitely give me a call um, or contact the police department, and then they'll notify me um, so we can address those issues. So it's not something that we don't address. We don't okay. do it directly, but we do have outside companies that. Um, work with us to, to address those issues. Right. Yep. Okay, thank you. Yep. 
One of the things that Marks has been successful in is expanding our contracts. Um, the council has approved some new contracts this past year. He's also working on an additional contract to deal with the feral cats so that we have uh, another alternative um, to the, the company that we utilize today as well. All right, thank you. Uh, other than that, I just have one comment on one of the agenda items this evening is the, uh, the COPS technology grant. Um, that is a, a grant that was sponsored by Congressman Ryan. Um, that $300,000 would be to enhance and expand our closed circuit uh, camera system throughout the city. We, our goals are, and we're working with our vendor now, to get cameras to the Wickham Wisner area, to the Monhagen West Main area, and to the Dolson area. Um, so depending on the build out of what, how much money, how far we can stretch this money will determine how far we get those cameras. But that's our goal with that money. Other than that, I have nothing unless you have anything for me this evening. Any questions for the police chief? All right, chief, thank, thank you. you. City clerk. <clears throat> Good evening. Um, as some of you may be aware, I'm the co-chair with Salinas Rodriguez of the Mayor's Youth Council. Uh, we're having a recruitment night on uh, February 26th here in the council chambers from 6 to 7. If anybody at home wants to get your children involved in service organizations in the city, we invite you to come by. We're excited that the mayor has agreed to be a guest speaker that night. So thank you, mayor. Uh, also in that line, uh, we're having a blood drive on March 26th from 3 to 7.30 p.m. at the Mulberry Senior Center. Uh, you can call my office or Salinas at the rec center uh, to make an appointment and schedule yourself to come in and donate blood. Supplies are running low and we could definitely use the help. Uh, and finally, uh, just a reminder, we have uh, stopped using the Nixle emergency alert system. We're now using civic mass notification. If you have not already done so, I encourage you to sign up through the city website, middletowny.gov. Um, on the left-hand side, you'll see a button that says uh, alerts. Uh, click there and just fill out the information and you'll be kept up to speed on all the latest events and happenings in the city, as well as road closures and any other weather-related emergencies. Thank you. Okay, Marsha Alderman, Alderman Massey. Yes, I just want to uh, thank uh, Commissioner Twill and the, the Department of Public Works for the uh, job that they did with the snow plowing. I uh, come in a little after seven in the morning, and when I left my house, the roads were all clear all the way down to City Hall. So tell the members, thank you. Thank you. Alderman Witt? I have nothing this evening. Alderman Green? Thank you. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Uh, I just want to uh, commend and, and say thank you to uh, those who were uh, there at the opening of uh, Gallery Chang on 55 North Street. It was a beautiful uh, opening. Um, always nice to see new business open up and a new uh, new storefront there on, on North Street. And uh, some of the artwork was absolutely amazing. Um, and, and I look forward to seeing what comes in there. Um, Alderman Kleiner and I will be restarting our constituents meetings uh, beginning in March. So that'll be Monday, March 12th at 7 o'clock p.m. Uh, right here in the council chambers. So we look forward to seeing you. Thanks. Alderman Kleiner. Um, thank you for people who asked uh, uh, our city clerk, uh, Mr. McCormick, and uh, has been talking with Channel 20 and Spectrum about the issues with some people have not been able to get to council meetings on TV. So for those who are, if you can't get it, then you're not hearing this. So, but, <laughs> <laughs> but, but for those who are, and to get the word out that um, we are working on it, trying to solve the problems. Um, I want to thank the, uh, Jalissa Sierra and, uh, and her staff. Uh, they had a program for Black History Month this afternoon at the Senior Center, and it was uh, more than well attended. They had to set up extra tables, and it, it was a great event. Um, and Cece Calloway was there. She's the daughter of Cab Calloway. And uh, it, it was uh, quite an interesting time. And I thank uh, James Rollins, too, who gave a little history of uh, Middletown and NAACP and such. So um, it was a very nice event. <clears throat> um, our city pride cleanup, uh, we're hoping, is going to be on uh, April 20th. So. Keep that date in mind uh, for the citywide pride cleanup. Um, <clears throat> if the the record online, I criticize them a lot. They did.
give another update on how gas prices have gone up another two cents. Wow, you know, from <laughs> down down 80 percent from the summer or 80 cents from the summer. But nonetheless, they have a, a really interesting article, and it's about the upcoming total solar eclipse that's going to go through parts of New York State. We'll be in about the 95 percent or so of it, but that's on April 8th. And if you go to Record Online, they do have uh, the map on there and to show you exactly where it's going to be so you can plan ahead. And warnings, um, don't, don't be like Mr. Trump and look directly at it with no, with no protection. Uh, you do need uh, solar glasses if you're going to actually look at it directly. So um, that, will, that will come up shortly. Uh, and I guess that's it. Thank you. All right. Uh, good evening. I don't have any really news for the evening, this evening except getting the news about the Taylor Swift tribute. And I have a daughter who I'm almost afraid to tell her. So uh, <laughs> cool stuff at our Paramount, like big names, and it's exciting in our little city. So I always get a little excited to hear about what's next. Thanks. Alvin Johnson. Thank you. Uh, with respect to the speeding conversation, um, the speaker may or may not be aware that this has kind of been ongoing. Uh, I won't grandstand either, Mr. Mayor. Um, we've basically gone through the obvious three solutions. Many people call all of us. They want a 20 mile per hour speed limit in their neighborhood. Uh, many people, their go-to is more stop signs. And many people are speed bumps. Um, I have kind of thought about and advocated for speed bumps, particularly there are, they're now being made where they can be removed. So if you're worried about snow removal, you could take them out for the winter quarter and put them back in the spring. Um, none of those ideas have really prevailed, uh, but that doesn't mean that we're not thinking about it and that we won't continue to try to address the issue. Counterintuitively, many times when we put, a, when we put the speed trailer out, we find out it's not quite as egregious as a particular resident thinks it is. But we have the trailer and we can disaggregate time of day, percent that are above, and so it really gives us good data. What we choose to do with it is the, is the rub. But thank you for bringing it to our attention again. Uh, I attended the school board meeting last week, and they had a building condition survey, and the Twin Towers project appears to be going along well, uh, on time and on budget. Hold that thought, we'll see. And also both the, uh, the superintendent, Mr. Tuttle, uh, they, they presented the administrative form of the budget, a uh, portion, I should say, and we were also informed of the fact that in the first read for the governor's budget, uh, they're having approximately a 2% decrease in foundation aid. Uh, this is thought to be a problem because it was allegedly promised and the money has already kind of been accounted for. And so there may be, uh, there may be some time for creative thinking in this year's budget. Thank you. Okay, um, John Francois. Yes, uh, good evening. Uh, I'd like to agree with uh, Alderman Massey and the commissioner, uh, the street department did an excellent job cleaning the snow, uh, last snowstorm that we have. I wanna uh, thank them for doing a great job in cleaning and keeping our city safe. Thank you. New business. Good evening, we have a resolution sponsored by Alderman Jean-Francois to enter into an agreement with the Orange County, with Orange County for the fire safety trailer. Resolution by Alderman Jean-Francois, seconded by Alderman Massey. Any discussion? Roll. Jean-Francois? Here. Hi. Johnson? Hi, and I'm still here, yes, thank you. Hi. Ray? Hi. Uh, uh, Kleiner? Hi. Green? Hi. Witt? Hi. Massey? Hi. Rodriguez? Hi. Carries. Resolution sponsored by Alderman Massey, authorizing the surplus of vehicles in the police department. Resolution sponsored by Alderman Massey, seconded by Alderman Jean-Francois. Any discussion? Jean-Francois? Aye. Johnson? Aye. Ray? Aye. Kleiner? Aye. Green? Aye. Witt? Aye. Massey? Aye. President Rodriguez? Aye. Carries. Resolution sponsored by Alderman Johnson to increase the part-time police police assistant rate of pay to $23 an hour. Resolution sponsored by Alderman Johnson, second by Alderman Green. Any discussion? Roll. Jean-Francois? Aye. Johnson? Aye. Ray? Aye. Kleiner? Aye. Green? Aye. Witt? Aye. Massey? Aye. President Rodriguez? Aye. Carries. Resolution sponsored by Alderman Ray to amend the 2024 transportation program contract to increase the total cost to $25,635. Resolution by Alderman Ray, seconded by Alderman Witt. Main discussion. Roll. John Francois. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Ray. Aye. Kleiner. Aye. Green. Aye. Witt. 
Aye. Massey? Aye. President Rodriguez? Aye. Carries. Resolution sponsored by Alderman Kleiner to increase the senior trips revenue line. Resolution by Alderman Kleiner, second by Alderman Massey, and discussion. Bro. Jean Francois? Aye. Johnson? Aye. Ray? Aye. Kleiner? Aye. Green? Aye. Witt? Aye. Massey? Aye. President Rodriguez? Aye. Carries. Resolution sponsored by Alderman Green to accept the 2023 COPS Technology Grant in the amount of $300,000. Resolution sponsored by Alderman Green, second by Alderman Kleiner. Any discussion? Bro. So, um, Jean Francois? Aye. Johnson? Aye. Ray? Aye. Kleiner? Aye. Green? Aye. Witt? Aye. Massey? Aye. President Rodriguez? Aye. Resolution sponsored by Alderman Witt, authorizing an agreement with H2O for services at the water treatment plant at a rate of $24,060.50 a month and at the wastewater treatment plant at a rate of $31,918.75 per month. Resolution by Alderman Witt, seconded by Alderman Jean Francois. Any discussion? Bro. Jean Francois. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Ray. Aye. Kleiner. Aye. Green. Aye. Witt. Aye. Massey. Aye. President Rodriguez. Aye. Carries. Resolution sponsored by Alderman Jean-Francois authorizing the 2024 annual spring cleanup and electronic drop-off day. Resolution sponsored by Alderman Jean-Francois, second by Alderman Johnson. Any discussion? Bro. Jean-Francois? Aye. Johnson? Aye. Ray? Aye. Kleiner? Aye. Green? Aye. Witt? Aye. Massey? Aye. President Rodriguez? Aye. Carries. Resolution sponsored by Alderman Johnson approving the Volunteer Firefighters Length of Service Award Program list for 2023. Resolution sponsored by Alderman Johnson, second by... On wit, any discussion? On wit. Thank you. Um, so I, I would have asked this of, of the chief, uh, the police chief, um, but I'm going to put my next door neighbor on the spot <laughs> a little bit here. I apologize for that. We have the documentation that will be public that will show everybody who has earned this award, and it's based on a point system, and it appears that 50 is the magic number. Can you? Give some context on what that means, please. Yeah, absolutely. I will be also abstaining from this vote, just uh, to put it out there. <laughs> no, I know. I apologize. No, no, that's all right. Um, so as you saw in your packets, basically um, there are uh, there's 94 uh, names on the list of, of active members of the fire department. Um, just being on the list does not necessarily mean that you are eligible to receive the LOSAP award, uh, which we increased as a council to $1,200 per year, um, which is a, a basically a retirement type benefit um, to the firefighters. Um, there's different categories on which you accrue points and numbers. So at that rate, um, you know, it's based off of call volume, what you make, um, you know, you can max out certain certain categories there. Um, social events you make, meetings, um, if there's any, uh, uh, you know, kind of hydrant cleanups, things like that, 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 that are details that are done. Um, that's where you'll uh, accrue your numbers. Um, I believe the magic number is a little over 50. I'd oh, have is to, it? I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's okay. Um, but uh, you will see that uh, some people have numbers next to them. That's what they accrued in terms of points for the year. Um, and, uh, you know, those will carry on. You'll see also there's a number I noticed on the sheet. Um, it does tell you how many years uh, in a row you are, uh, the person has received it. Um, after five years, you are vested in the program. So um, anyone who's got a five or above is eligible to uh, receive that at age 62, I believe. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, anyone else? Roll. Jean-Francois. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Ray. Aye. Kleiner. Aye. Green. Epstein. Witt. Aye. Massey. Aye. President Rodriguez. Aye. Carries. Resolution sponsored by Older Women Ray, authorizing an amendment to city code ordinances to provide for a student transportation medallion. Resolution by Alderman Ray, second by Alderman Johnson. Any discussion? Roll. Jean-Francois. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Ray. Aye. Kleiner. Aye. Green. Aye. Witt. Aye. Massey. Aye. President Rodriguez. Aye. Resolution sponsored by Alderman Witt authorizing a reduction in the performance bond for ADC Middletown LLC Magnolia Park to $197,580. Resolution sponsored by Alderman Witt, seconded by Alderman Kleiner. Any discussion? Bro. Jean-Francois. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Ray. Aye. Kleiner. Aye. Green. Aye. Witt. Aye. Massey. Aye. President Rodriguez. Aye. Carries. 
Local laws? We have a local law this evening sponsored by Alderman Johnson. It is an introduction. It's a local law allowing delinquent overgrown vegetation, snow removal, garbage can, bulk pickup, dead tree removal, and building demolition charges to be relevied into real property tax bills. Okay. For the record, audit. Mr. President, I move the accounts be ordered that the claims be adjusted and the city treasurer be authorized to issue warrants for their payment. Motion by Alderman Massey, second by Alderman Johnson. Roll. John Francois. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Ray. Aye. Kleiner. Aye. Green. Aye. Witt. Aye. Massey. Aye. President Rodriguez. Aye. Carries. Move for adjournment. Don't move. Thank you.